Russell 96 and today I will be finishing that Enderman XP farm. I got ready to start last episode but didn't actually start building it. That was a really bad lag spike. So and it was probably a good thing I didn't start making it last episode because I did not have all the resources I needed. Yeah, I needed a lot more cobblestone to make all these pistons and have all these building blocks. But this is all the stuff I need, and it will have probably also been a good idea to actually watch the tutorial I was going to use before making it because in that video he, well, the design I'm using is a tripwire design made by Panda. I'll have the link for it in the description because I would have rather used some string and tripwire hooks instead of nine stacks of repeaters because that would have used up all my stone resources. So I'm going to go to the end and make a platform to put all the stuff on and this netherrack is a waste block so if I do fall I don't lose everything. I'm also going to go down the last few blocks I didn't get to because I used the water column and placed blocks manually. This would have saved a lot of time if I just used lava and water to make the cobble go down. But I only lost a little bit of iron so it doesn't really matter. Also probably going to well I'll probably transfer all the resources off camera and I would be really mad if I died and lost all of those pistons because that's four stacks of cobblestone per stack of pistons I used an entire another efficiency five and breaking three pick but I have it to repair, so, yeah. Okay. I'll build out a little bit more. Or should I just, go? I'll just go down now. And this was how he did it. Put lava there, and water there. Yeah, that saves a lot of time and effort. I don't have any ladders on me. Um, let's make a fancy staircase down, I guess. That won't really work, though. Okay, let's do something like this then. I guess that works. Let's build out a little bit. And light alone should stop Enderman from spawning. I'm wasting all the cobble doing this. Then again, I just m generated all this cobble using lava, so it doesn't really matter. Not all of it, but most of it. Now would be a really bad time for shift to stop working. I'm making a staircase because I'll probably end up using a minecart system there. Um, let's break these so Enderman don't teleport back to them. Of course, there's one more. And put that there 
to keep consistent. Um, well, if I wanted it consistent, I would want this. Okay, that's better. Probably a little bit OCD there, but whatever. And I believe that the landing platform for the Enderman is 6 by 17, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, it's 6 by 17, so... Um, let's go out a little bit more, because I'll probably want to make, like, an anvil station and enchanting station here, so I'll probably want some room to build all that stuff, and not just have it right at the staircase. So, one, two, three, those lag spikes are going to kill me. That's 6 wide and 17 long, which would be 8 to each side. Yeah. center block and eight more out to this side I probably did not bring enough cobble well I'm fine Okay, that looks good enough. And I'll probably make like a five-ish wide netherrack platform around it just so I can save stuff if I fall. Yeah, that will do. So I'll make this platform and transfer all the resources back at my castle to here. And I'll be back after that. Okay, I have the resources done and the safety net type thing to save all my items if I fall made. And next up would be making the fences. Well, placing them to make like a cage type thing on the bottom. So two high fences all along the edge of the landing platform. Like this. And if you want to build this, I would probably go watch Panda's video. Because this won't really be much of a tutorial. I'll probably skip around and do a lot of stuff off camera. Oh, oh and I don't have an axe. Yeah, I don't really want to have that much nice stuff on me when doing this because even though I have this, I'm still more than likely going to die and probably lose something in the process. And the fence gate goes there. And on top of this is a two wide ring of cobblestone.
probably, well, yeah, next video I'll work on the castle again. But I kind of need this because I'm running out of picks. And I need to enchant more. Okay, now the landing platform is done. Not sure why I have this many extra fences. Um, I'm going to look at what I need to do next, and I'll do that. Well, I should probably put lights up here. Because any dark sp spots around here, Enderman will spawn a lot. Because I forgot to light up that corner, so when I went over there, there were like 10 Endermen spawned over here. Okay, I'll see what I need to do next. Okay, the next step is making half slab, well, slab rings going up 40 blocks. So the Endermen stay in the falling bit and don't fall out of it. And I need only a little bit of cobblestone and a lot of half slabs. So let's get back up here. Oh, I also need some ladders. That will do. And make a ring of slabs up here. of those. Oops, that failed. I only need 40 cobblestone, and I make a pillar going up here, placing ladders on the way so I can get back down. So I'll go up those 40 blocks and I'll be back. Okay, I have the pillar made. Let's go back down. And get more half slab well slabs ready. Not sure why I call them half slabs. That was a really bad lag spike. And then place a ring of half slab slabs every three blocks, so it's a two and a half block gap and Enderman can't fit through there. Yeah, I'll do this off camera because it's really repetitive and simple. Well, I died. Well, I fell while making the cobble rings. That didn't take that long for the first step. So I'll go back there and finish making the rings. <sighs> okay, I finished making those rings and. The next step is the drop reset, and for that, I need cobblestone, the vines, and the buttons. And maybe some guy, I'll just keep it on me anyway. And I only died one more time after that first one. So overall, I'm doing fairly good. I'm not dying yet. Then again, it's not even half done, and it's not to the complicated part yet. So I'll probably die a few more times. Probably, more than likely. Okay, so here, instead of... probably want some torches, or else stuff is going to spawn. Yeah. That would have been bad if I just jumped to my death right there. Huh. Did I lose a stack of torches in one of those falls? It looks like it. Huh. Where did I actually put one? Nope, I lost a stack of torches. Whatever. This will be worth it when I can get level 30 in like one minute instead of half an hour of AFK. Well, the 
first death was I got caught on the edge of the ladder when trying to go down a level. And my second one was I was trying to place blocks fast running like that and I just ran right off the ledge. Okay, it's on the bottom layer of full blocks, it's buttons. And these vines reset the fall damage of the Endermen, so when they get down to the bottom, they're one hit, well, one punch and they die to save time. Then build this ring up to more blocks for the vines. Temporarily place some torches on up here so I can leave without there being endermen up here. And I'll go get more resources and find out what I'm doing next. Okay, now we're making the spawning pads, and this uses all the other stuff I got. So, um, I'll leave some of those torches there. So, place a tripwire hook there. Um, cobblestone block there. I um, want to take out that one. Cobblestone, well, redstone on top of the cobblestone. And a line of cobblestone going across to the other side. And over here, place a tripwire hook in the same spot. Basically, oh, redstone knot, yeah, and take away the netherrack, then go up a little bit, well, go up to get up here and place redstone across the top, go down, I did not know those had a hitbox, or, I'm confused. Then pistons across this. And then string to complete the trip wire. Like that. So if when you jump up it fires. Then do the same thing on this side, and there's a little bit more to each level than that. So I'll quickly make this side, I need that block there to do that. Place some redstone there. That was a fail. Cobble across the top. I'll just do this now. That needs to be cobble. And finish that. And go up to add the redstone. And pistons would probably be a good thing also. And to finish off the layer, I'll just take away all these torches now. To finish off the layer, so Enderman, I don't have any slabs on me. Okay, I'll put those torches back, run down and get some slabs. Then I'll finish this layer. Okay, I got the slabs I need. 
and I need to place these on these blocks and on this redstone because Enderman would be able to spawn on those blocks if I didn't put those there and that would mess up the spawning rates because they would just pile up there. Yeah, it was close. Then to go to the next level, I believe it's a block right above that and a cobblestone ring like this and then repeat the same pattern. And it's 20 total of the spawning pads, so I have 19 more to go. And I'll do those all off camera because it's exactly the same as this. Oh, and it would all... <laughs> that almost went badly. I need to get rid of those torches, but now it's armed and ready to push me off whenever I go on the blocks I need to get to. Huh. Okay, let's grab these torches and hope an enderman doesn't push me off. Um, I'm close enough, they shouldn't spawn. Hopefully. Um, how am I going to get out of here? Like this, I guess. Okay, now let's see if any Enderman spawn just have curiosity. That was close. There's no light up there, so they should be. Yeah, they're coming. <laughs> basis of it, and now I just need to make 19 more of the spawning pads, and that will probably take a while, and I'll be back after I do that. Okay, it might not have been the smartest idea to take away all the light. slabs on the top of the blocks that the tripwire hooks are on because they would also be able to spawn there and I'm fairly sure that's all I've forgotten so far and also I didn't put the string there while making it when recording so I fixed that and I got rid of all the endermen so I'll just build the 19 more layers and I'll be back Okay, I finished it, and I'm a ways up here. I'm at Y125. I'll just break this block. Yeah, 125. And since this is the top layer, because you don't want to go above Y128, because then more chunks are loaded and it slows down the spawning times, or something like that. It doesn't work as good. I keep... That was interesting if I placed... Did not know it worked like that. Huh. Anyway. Since I'm not making any more layers... That's really annoying how it does that. I'm putting slabs on all the spawnable spaces. I think I just accidentally made that one. Yeah. So, no Enderman will spawn up here, and there's just a few more things I have to do at the bottom, and then it's done. And I actually ended up having some extra resources, even though I fell off like five times, and one of the times I landed on the rings down there. And that sent my items flying, and I lost some string and trip wires. 
Apparently not any pistons, which is good because that's basically where all the resources went. But yeah, I fell a lot. But it's really good at me now. So that's a plus. sure how this railway railway system is going to work because if they can teleport out of there and this is a staircase and in order to be able to go up it needs to be three high like there has to be water here not just half slabs or why do I keep saying half slabs not just slabs because they can teleport to those I'm not really sure how the staircase is going to work, so I might just make it a lab. Because I really don't want to have a ton of Enderman in the safe area. So I'll go get all that stuff and I'll be back. Okay, I got the stuff I need in. Let's just put that there for now. staircase to just make the ladder right now instead of worrying about it later. That was so much wasted cobble. Oh, that would have been bad if I had dug those blocks out. Also going to need to make a roof over all of this to put water on it. Um, 
let's break this block. Grab some ladders. Where did I put those? Here. And if they teleport to that spot, I might make like a water elevator type thing instead. Grab some slabs. I'm not sure if I'll redo this part later because it's not like I'm going to really be here that often, so it doesn't have to look that fancy. I still need to finish that down there. Oh, hello. Enderman. Everywhere. Fairly sure I looked at it. Yeah, shake it. probably make that glass or something because it doesn't have to be closed yet because it's only too high so it doesn't really matter. I guess the walls are going to be water anyway. But probably want that to go down to there. And I'll use slabs for the roof because they use half as less cobblestone. Save some resources. Okay. Now, where do I want all the enchanting stuff? Um. An odd number, that is not. Let's enchanting table will be there. I think. So one more bit out. Ceiling over this. Would probably be a smart idea to make physical walls in this area. Yeah. And water will just go over those, I guess. could just use the bookshelves as well. Eh, that would look a bit bad. And I'll probably also make like a storage offshoot that direction. So let's put this thing. And that should be a level 30 enchant, yep. And let's just mirror that on this side. Well, yeah, might as well for chests and stuff. to make an infinite water source, which I could also do on this side also. How far did that go out? Okay. 
Okay. And a ceiling. See if they're teleporting over there. That was a really bad lag spike. I just waste one extra block. ceiling slab so I could put another two there. Um, where would I put a water source? How about... Still reach that, good enough. Okay. Um, I guess the next step would be, well, let's take away all this random netherrack. Probably won't ever need to get up there, but might as well make like an axis. cut out all the mining of this netherrack because that will be really boring to watch and I'll be back. Okay, all of the netherrack is gone. Let's just put some walls there. And those don't have to be half slabs or just slabs because they're going to be covered in water. For the fun part, placing water. finished the water, and I have two more chests there, and I made a lot more water buckets. Um, let's make an anvil or two. I'll probably just leave this iron here because I have plenty of other places. I think it's this. Yeah. And I'll just leave the iron here. Let's put the anvil here. Good enough. Um, I guess I'll probably take the bucket. 
Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably take most of this stuff back. I could put more chests up there. And I'll probably mainly be enchanting books. So I'm not wasting diamonds trying to get an efficiency 4 enchant to make into an efficiency 5 pick. Let's put like that stuff there. Probably don't want to break this one yet. So let's enchant to book right now. And knock back 2. Yay, useful. And another creative, useful idea I've seen. I'm not sure where, but... Oh, wait. Is that an issue or is that on that block? Let's go look, because I don't want there to be a hole in the water. But something I've seen somewhere, but I don't remember where. Okay, it's that is to make a beacon here and set it to regeneration so that counterbalances the starvation so I don't wouldn't need to use food here because that's probably the one downside to this farm is it uses up a lot of I'm dying. it uses up a lot of food now that I really, it's not like I have an issue with food on this world, but it'd be nice not to waste all my steaks. So that's all for today, and I'll finish it up with hitting another level 30, I guess. Sorry, because that's probably really loud over there. Another book. Smite 4. Uh, good thing I have tons of books. Okay, I'll... Well, I still have to finish this bridge and make a minecart system, but that won't be that hard. Let's get up here. That took forever to make. But now I can efficiently make picks. Well, not make picks, but enchant picks. So I would say that this was a worthwhile project. I'm going to fall into the void with all this stuff on me. Okay. But yeah, this took a lot longer than I thought it would. And next episode I'll be back to working on the castle. It's just that I needed the resources. Well, not. It was more to just save time this because I was using a skeleton spawner. So I had to AFK for like half an hour to get level 30. So this will save a lot of time in the long run. And I also got all these ender pearls so I can teleport places. Yay. So thanks for watching. Bye.